Well, good evening, everybody. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in. We've got another update for you here on the uh, Leader Facebook page. I'm Robert Taburn, editor of the uh, Inner County Leader. We're just coming up on six o'clock uh, at night, and we thought we would do a uh, another update for you about the snow. And uh, let me flip the camera around here. Uh, and as you can see, um, the snow has actually kind of stopped falling here in Frederick and uh, most of the western parts of Polk and Burnett counties. Um, but yeah, looking down here, so you've got a pretty good, maybe six inches on the ground. Um, got plows going by. You can see lots of plows and uh, roads are okay. Uh, main streets here is this highway uh, 35 uh, and then 48 is just down there. Um, traffic is uh, going pretty well. Um, and you can see you got another car uh, coming by here. But it is some of the side streets, uh, like our side street down here right by our office is uh, still um, not the best and uh, things like that. Uh, the county roads still pretty slick. Lots of reports of uh, accidents, things like that going on. Um, yeah, I guess that's the theme of the night. Uh, main roads okay uh, side streets yeah we'll get to hopefully those cleaned up overnight but it has uh, indeed stops snowing here at the six o'clock hour uh, well despite that uh, we're still under National Weather Service still has us under a winter storm warning for Polk and Burnett counties until nine o'clock tonight that could be lifted maybe a little bit earlier um, we do have our two reporters who've been out and about all day. Uh, let's check in with them really quick. Uh, Sarah Beth Radomski, she is up on our north end uh, with a look at the roads. She is up uh, north of Frederick and Lewis area near Clam Falls. Well, when I first got out, the roads weren't too bad. Like I had an early morning appointment. It was just starting to snow and it wasn't super slick or super built up. Um, and then as I was getting more in towards Cumberland, so I was going from Frederick to Cumberland, it was, you know, starting to build up. And then on the way back, it was like, okay, saw two ambulances. You know, I didn't see any rollovers or anything. Um, and then as I got into luck, it's, you know, it's starting to accumulate onto the, roads and then I was like well you know we'll try the main roads because I had another appointment this afternoon and I was like well and then as you got to the main roads they're plowed but since the snow keeps coming down it's like it's like it's still getting slick you know after you have the morning wash on those main roads then it freezes and then you have more snow piling on top of that and so, um, as I got into town, I was like, you know, I think I might pick up my kid early from daycare. <laughs> I don't want to go back out at night, especially when it's dark. And then, um, as I was coming out from the unplowed side roads, I was really like flipping around, just trying to get up that little hill from, um, Birch Street, you know, by the office mm -hmm. up to, um, that hill to get heading back towards Lewis to where I have to get back to get towards the farm. And then as I was turning onto E, this truck was like a little too confident pulling out of the side street and they totally like almost went out like right in front of me. So, um, I was like, Hmm, like I am just going to hunker down. And then when I got to my side street, 90th off of E, which wasn't really plowed either. Um, I have a Honda Odyssey, which doesn't sit super low or super high, but it was, um, getting kind of stuck in just the three or four inches that was starting to build up on the, um, road because our road hadn't been plowed yet, which usually the plows come pretty quickly, but I assume that they're just trying to keep up with the main roads. So what are, what are plan, uh, plans for the rest of the night? Are you just hunkering down or uh, are you going to have to check back out on the roads? I am hunkering down. Hunk I'm going to bake some bread and finish up any writing I'm doing and... Well, you, you, can bring some, you can bring That's some it. bread up to the paper because I that odds of me ba making it back home to Barron tonight I don't think are very good. So if anybody wants to bring any food by the uh, the newspaper, yeah, you know, unless, he, or, unless you've perfected that, uh, you know, um, Star Trek transmitter or whatever, good luck with that. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I think it's pretty much I'm hunkering here. All right. <laughs> I think I'm going anywhere. Sounds good. We'll be we'll be safe. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, no worries. All right, thanks a lot, Sarah. And uh, yeah, from north to south, we check in with our other reporter, Shayla Johnson, who is down on the uh, south side toward Eureka and uh, St. Croix Falls. She has uh, this update for us. Today, uh, where were you and what were the roads like out there? Uh, I had 
to travel from St. Croix Falls this morning at about 8 o'clock to Frederick. And uh, Highway 35 wasn't bad. I didn't see any um, cars in the ditches. Um, main roads were good. After that, I had to travel to the Eureka area. And um, a lot of those backcountry roads were like one trail where you could see people had driven. The plows hadn't been out yet, um, but I can confirm that at... About eleven o'clock, that Eureka plows were out on the roads. Yeah. Were there a lot of people out on the roads this morning? Uh, yeah, yeah. Regular, I would say regular traffic, but everybody was being very leaving proper spacing and stuff on on Highway Thirty Five. You get up back onto the country roads, you know, people people gravitated towards the main main roads. And and you have some and you have some news for us about some of the schools because you have you have three kids yourself who are in school and we're planning to go to the uh, I guess big basketball game tonight at the Unity. Yep. Yeah. So um, I've heard that Unity and St. Croix Falls all after school activities. So that includes everything has been canceled. So everybody will be going straight home after school. I think as a parent, think that's a good thing. Um. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And you know what? All families need some of those nights to just sit down and and uh, <laughs> gather around the table and just hunker down and enjoy that first big snow, I think. And uh, and do they normally reschedule those, or how does that work? Um, Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it will be. I'm not sure of the date yet. All right, but we'll keep because everybody updated. Just... Um, so, yeah, yeah, first big snow. You got any fun plans tonight? <laughs> Uh, maybe finally take down my Thanksgiving decorations and start putting up my Christmas tree. All right. Well, there you go. Thanks so yeah. much. Yeah, you betcha. All right. Well, thank you, Shayla, and also Sarah Beth for checking in and providing us with some updates on what's going on, some videos and pictures that they shot. So um, hopefully these uh, side roads will get cleaned up, some of the county roads will get cleaned up overnight drive in to work tomorrow and drive home tomorrow hopefully it will be a lot better and uh, make sure you pick up your uh, fresh paper in the morning we'll be working all night now to uh, get some of that out for you so again thanks for tuning in on the intercounty leaders facebook page and uh, be safe out there and uh, hopefully the drive will be just a lot better tomorrow looks like we're just about done with the snowstorm mm -hmm.